The Mason Grove School of the Arts is one of the most respected art schools in the country. It is home to a number of talented artists and performers who produce amazing works of art every day. For those individuals interested in visual arts, the Brodsky Center for Innovative Print and Paper here in downtown New Brunswick provides an opportunity to produce fine works of art in a state-of-the-art environment. The center was founded by Judith Brodsky in 1986 and she originally named it the Rutgers Center for Innovative Print and Paper. It was established as an international forum for the exchange of new ideas in print and paper making processes and education. In 2006, it was renamed after Ms. Brodsky in recognition of her leadership and vision. The goal of the Brodsky Center is to bring uh, artists who are contributing new ideas to the cultural mainstream to Rutgers University to create new work in collaboration with a staff of master printers and paper makers in various printmaking, handmade paper, and other reproductive techniques. Um, and many students participate as interns in the program as well. Uh, the fact that we bring artists um, who already are in the midst of their careers or, and, and who have distinguished careers um, is very helpful to students. Um, since we have a number of students who are interns, um, they get to know the artist very well and it helps them with their careers um, because the artists introduce them to um, gallerists and the artists help them with advice about their programs. But the other part of it is that these artists who come in, we have them give lectures and critiques um, so that they have one-to-one um, -one interaction with students about the students' own work. The center's location on Livingston Avenue, right down the street from the famous George Street Playhouse, places it right in the heart of New Brunswick art community. It is a central location where students from all campuses can come to create their art. Uh, what I like most about the center is that they're open often um, every weekday from 9 to 5, I guess, and um, they're always open to help you and they'll never turn you away. Um, the center helps us bring a vision to life because we have great teachers who um, kind of help us with different techniques that we might not know, um, take us through demos and we get to go to like museums and things like that to see different um, artists and how they work and you know kind of apply that to our own work. The professors at the center have a wealth of knowledge to pass on to their students, but they are not just passive participants, they take full advantage of the center's opportunities as well. Teaching at Rutgers has really expanded um, beyond what I do at the Brodsky Center. At the Brodsky Center, I'm a printing assistant and collaborate with artists and work on auditioning. Teaching has allowed me to work with students and share um, successes at the Brodsky Center and retranslate the process to a new group of students. Um, so it's, it's been a challenge, but it's also been wonderful to um, watch students actually grow and learn from successes that we have next door and bring them to the students on the other side. I'm very impressed with the knowledge and skills of my professors. Um, they work in the Brodsky Center, I think, all day, pretty much, you know, like Monday through Friday. Um, and they print out a lot of really cool things from different local artists. There's a show in um, Manhattan that we went to go see that the Brodsky Center had um, pieces in. And it was really interesting to see, like, finished pieces that they were working on that we see them working on, like, when we're in class and stuff. So. I'm very impressed with the knowledge and skills of my professors. I think that they know even more than I expected them to know and um, they are willing to teach me all the knowledge that they have and they never talk down to me or think that I'm not worthy of knowing the same information that they do. I hope you've gotten an opportunity to see that students here really challenge themselves and have taken some of the basic techniques and really integrated it into how they work. And that's, that's sort of the goal, is to learn a new technique and figure out a way to work it into your own process. And I'm really impressed by how students have integrated their own approach to their work, but allowed printmaking to sort of give it a new accent. The Brodsky Center remains a staple in the Mason Grove School of the Arts. Featuring state-of-the-art technology, a knowledgeable faculty, and dedicated students, the center will continue to be a shining example of artistic excellence and innovation. The Brodsky Center for Visual Arts is located on 33 Livingston Avenue in downtown New Brunswick. The center features cutting-edge facilities for print and paper making. For more information, visit the website at www.brodskycenter.org.